Yeah! Woo! Woo! There they go. Hey, everybody, welcome to the Heavy Leather Topless Dance Party. Yeah! What a what a show tonight! Woo. It's gonna be a real barn burner, as they <laughs> as they say. I'm waiting for the waiting for our guest band to take their places so we can Come show on, them off. Are they even here? <laughs> yeah. There before, they are. There they are. Hey, uh, but before we before we get there, let me tell you. If you haven't seen the show before, it's a little rock and roll dance party. You're gonna have a good time. Let me introduce everybody. Uh, my name is Ken. You might know me as the frankly legendary rock writer, sleaze grinder. Yeah. And this, everybody, is the last gang in town to my right. There she is, everybody. It's America's showgirl. It's Elsa Riot. Yeah! Who slapped herself so hard before the show that she, she, she has a mark on her leg now from slapping yeah, herself. Yeah, but when you're this pale, kind of anything shows up. <laughs> oh, this is a curious pattern. I've not seen this one before. See, and did you encourage, you encourage that? Well, there was I a camera pointed it. at me, so... <laughs> What I am I to do? Yeah, I pointed a camera at her and she slapped herself and it okay. was worth it if you ask me. To my left, there she is, everybody. It's the Chachi to my font, it's the Jesse to my Walter, it's Stacy DC. Yeah! Uh she had an exciting week. We're gonna get to that in a minute. Uh to my other left, there they are, Kings of the Nighttime World. It's the Black Leather Lagoon. Yeah! What a show we have oh my this God. evening. Tonight, providing rock and roll, international touring stars, the Erotics are here. Yeah! Oh, there they are. It's the Erotics. There's a rock and roll band. Yeah. <laughs> also, uh, making a return performance. I thought I'd never see her again. Me too. I didn't think we'd ever get Gigi back. Burlesque well, legend. she's also international. That's exactly. Yes, international showgirl, yes. Gigi Marks is here, everybody. Yeah! I mean, I think Gigi is the reason we got into burlesque to begin with. It's funny. I was thinking about it. She inspired this a lot of this, I, I would say. I, many years ago, well, not many years ago, but a few years ago, you and I went to this thing where you... Uh, what was it? What was it? It was Dr. Sketchy. You remember that? And we where, met Gigi Marks. And we met Gigi Marks. And what happens is you go to... They have this thing, Dr. Sketchy. And did you sketch and they have, one naked? Yeah, right. It was Gigi Marks. We. Oh, nice. And it turned out everyone else there was Everybody, an actual artist. Yeah. And Ken and I Except were just there to sketch Gigi. We were just, <laughs> we were just hacks. But yeah. wh while we were doing it, I was like, you know what? I would. This is the first time that I can say for sure that I would pay just to look at a person. And it was Gigi Marks. It was Gigi. Yeah, me too. I and would we've still, been paying to look at people ever since. Yeah. <laughs> but she was the That's first one that I was like. Be. Yeah. The sketching, though, is long gone. We haven't done that in Well, a the while. sketching is a good pretense because otherwise if I just show Creepy. up and stare at Gigi Marks for her. An hour. That's that's right. creepy. So at least if you have a notepad. I gotta say, I found new ways to creep on Gigi Marks. Really? For sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but before, before <laughs> we have a chance to practice later. Before, <laughs> yeah. before we, before oh, before we get to, uh, I got a couple things to get to before we start the show. But one thing I want to bring on. Where is our our fifteen year old intern? Oh, he's this? right in front of me. Bring, oh, bring him over God, here. God, he looks older. I want, I want to see if if anybody. Ooh recognizes shirt. what's different about him. Take a look at this guy. <gasps> your braces! Oh, shit! Oh, yeah. Wow. Get, put your teeth in the camera, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Right, get right in there. Get right in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He finally... <laughs> Dude, you were too close. All right, get out of here, Rui. You're ruining the whole thing now. But congratulations. But, on like, exactly. Sorry I didn't notice. Nice wow. Too, he does look older without braces. Well, yeah, that's the way braces work. I don't feel as, like, guilty about doing something wrong. Okay, good. <laughs> what? Oh, I mean, just having what is, him here. What does just that mean? Just having him here, you guys. Okay. Well, that's a good transition to what I wanted to talk to next, <laughs> which is that last week, <laughs> which is that last week, Stacy was at a sex festival in the woods, so I thought maybe we'd talk about it for a couple minutes before we begin the show. You want to talk ahead. about it? Yeah, let's talk about it. I mean... And then, so you present it, and then if maybe we'll have a, a, a brief follow-up Q&A. We're going to need a Q&A. Okay, I'm so sure. I went okay. to this Firefly Festival. Have you heard of it? That's a sex festival? I thought it was a music festival. It's There is a Firefly Music Festival in Delaware. This oh, is not this a sex festival. There is a ton of sex happening there. Um, but it's like a Burning it's a sex e festival. Vermont. It's like the New England Burning Man, I would say. Okay. My first burn. Okay. 
And, and she's, she's really, if you look at her Instagram, experience. she's very obsessed with it at this I'm point. I'm obsessed with it. I'm following all the burns coming up. I mean, <laughs> I look like a burner, but I feel like a burner. You know what I mean? Okay, so give us some highlights of what happened to you. <laughs> so I wore, th so it's basically like a lit up magical forest in Vermont. Okay. Uh, they don't disclose the location until a week before. And you go there and everybody's like very open. Everyone's on drugs. There's lots of sex. There's a ton of LED lights, which is why I went to begin with. Okay, so you you went there for the lights. You stayed I for the sex and drugs. I went for the lit up forest and the camping, which okay. I really like. Okay. And um, stayed for the sex. I, I there was a hope. ton of sex. I had a lot of sex, and I did some drugs. Okay. Uh, and those are yeah. great for LED forests. Camp yeah. for adults. It's adult camp, but with like really open artsy people. There's a lot of fire throwing. I did a lot of like suspending myself in trees, like tree hammocks really high up. Cool. Um, tons of like rave music, which I didn't know I was into, but it turns out I really am. Really? And I didn't sleep at all. It, okay. was, great. it was great. My what boyfriend kind of and I like painted each other weird things. What kind of drugs did we you do? Walked around a little bit naked. Uh, can, I, can I say that? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm going to say it. Really? Oh, boo. <laughs> Come I on. I respect the mystery. It keeps yeah. the mystery to it. I mean, if you want to find out what happens there, we have you to, have to go. go. Yeah, you have to go, and you also will do a lot of drugs. It's unavoidable. What do we have to do in order to prepare to go to the you gotta sex festival? you got to sign up. you got to win a lottery ticket to get in. Which you do? Is really easy because the waiting list, people get off of it pretty quickly. So it's the best $100 I've ever spent Firefly. But if you're a prick, don't go and ruin our good time. Were, were there any there? Were there any... I'm sure there were pricks, but I was so oblivious that I didn't see any. Was yeah. there like, did you? Was there Everything's like free, too. People are walking around giving you free drugs and alcohol. Really? But you got to give them something in exchange. What That's do you give the them culture. in exchange? Uh, you know, like, you know, tattoos, massages. There's a lot of sex <laughs> tents. There's a lot of costumes. I mean, doesn't this sound magical? It sounds awful. It just sounds like the worst thing. <laughs> really? Yeah. It sounds like camp for adults. Who it's adult no camp with camp. costumes just, and artists. It and sounds like nothing I would ever do in a million years, but I appreciate. Listen, man, if yeah. you're not an agent of possibility, you shouldn't go to this festival. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> but I'm glad you uh, you got naked in the woods and did drugs and had a good time. That's Thanks, awesome. buddy. I thought I was really selling it, but it lo sounds like. No, no, I, you sold it to uh, the vast majority of the people out there. I've sold it to myself and that's all that matters. I just really want to sit in my backyard. I don't really want to. Yeah, well, you have a I great backyard and what? what? What happened? Switch mics? Switch mics. Mine's not working. Well, now it's my time's over. Do you want your mic back? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Am I getting a, who's getting a? <laughs> it's not so secretive now, buddy. Yeah, yeah. How about this? Oh, okay. So, uh. Only I have the my original. Mic Only that Elsa I has a mic that's working. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> this is <laughs> this one's got that one sucks. This one. Okay, good. That was that was seamless. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody. Didn't break the illusion at all. <laughs> if you wanna if you wanna hang out in the woods with Stacy, she'll be at Firefly. You're gonna be at Firefly next year. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Well, let's uh, transition if we can from the forest. Back to reality. reality. And let's get to some rock and roll. All the way from Albany, the they are the Erotics! <laughs> Yeah, forgiveness. 
Erotix, everybody. Incredible. All right, Erotix, come on over here and we'll we'll talk for a little bit. By the way, just kidding. Your your festival sounds fantastic. Really? Yeah, it sounds great. I don't think you're gonna go though with me next. I mean, year. I'm probably not gonna go, but it sounds fantastic. All I right. know you love LED lights. Though. I do. I I can't get enough of LED lights. All right, Erotix, come on over here. Have the most of anybody I know. That's <laughs> true. By the way, uh, uh, incidentally, uh, the next week the Dancing Gorilla goes part time, so we're really gonna need Ooh. a. We're really going to need a, an intern <laughs> soon. So if you want to come intern for this show, and why, Mike Trash, why wouldn't you want to intern for this I'd show? Like right. Week, yeah, exactly. Come, come on in, guys. Just pile around. Yeah, get behind there. Get all around, around us. And we will, we're going to, we're going to find out all about the erotics. And come on. Right there. There it goes. There they go. There they go. Just let's make sure Just we get the whole. Yeah, I get the whole gang. All right. First, what we're gonna do is we'll go around. We'll get everybody's name. Here's what I want you to do: say what your name is and what your first concert that you ever <laughs> attended was. Here we go. <laughs> Mike Trash. I'm the singer for the Erotics. First concert was Kiss. Wow. That's Whoa. Fantastic. Classic. Very first one. How old? I was 13, and it was still makeup before they took it off. Amazing. <laughs> By the way, it's funny. This is the original Mike Trash. If you remember, our old band, Strange Fuzz. Right, Mike Trash. Mikey Trash showed up and ruined the whole the whole band, destroyed the band. That's like, that's the story. Really st st yeah, he totally yoko them, and that's the that's the story <laughs> of Mikey Trash. But Mike Trash, he's a whole different. He's I know. I got a little triggered when you said your name. Right. He's but he's the original Mike Trash. Okay. Good. So I go behind me and find out who these guys are. Concert. Uh, I'm Tony. I'm the bass player. First concert was, I think, like a, a biker festival in the, the Poconos. What? With, uh, okay. Like, <laughs> okay, how old were you? Are you from Pennsylvania? I was like eight. Whoa. <laughs> are, you from, cool. are you from I am Pennsylvania? Not. Oh, okay. What were you doing in the Poconos? Who brought you there? A friend of my dad's lived down okay. there. All right. So we went down there and, uh, you know, had a good time. Who was that? The, who played the biker concert? Oh, man. It was Edgar Winter, okay. uh, Leslie West, all, all right. those all those guys. Steppenwolf. Okay. Yeah, that wow. sounds... That sounds like a biker show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, I'm Johnny, drummer, and uh, I think the first concert was Dio. Dio. Oh, nice. Yeah. Sacred Heart Tour. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> How old were you? I don't know, 15. That sounds nice. right. That's yeah. cool. All right, my name is Doug. I play guitar. Uh, first concert was Marilyn Manson and L7. Incredible. Nice. <laughs> Didn't you interview first Marilyn concert. Manson in the dark? <laughs> sure, I absolutely did. <laughs> hey, uh, Elsa, how about you? I actually can't remember. Oh my god. I know. Yeah, come back to me. I don't. Yeah, I blacked mine out too. Stacy, you, you so can't remember yours either. Probably on so many drugs. I can't remember as a mine child. either. <laughs> first real concert that I went to. I mean, I went to a little couple local shows, but the first real concert I went to was uh, Ozzy and Motley Crue in 1983. Yeah, at the Boston Gardens. Tickets were twelve dollars back then. Those were good times. I remembered my Please first concert. Oh, Elsa remembers everybody. Let's go back to her. Let's find it out. It was Dream Theater. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's kind of, that's kind of, I that's, wouldn't expect that. That's yeah. sweet. I'm like, I'm not sure if I should be embarrassed or not, but no, I'll just own it. Dream Theater. <laughs> yeah, I love own it. rock. Fuck yeah, hey, Elsa. What, what you, <laughs> oh, sit on the couch. Okay, I get it. All Wait, right. why do you have to sit on the couch? What? I do? Why? Oh, Stacy's got to sit on the couch. Not in the frame? Because she knows she's not in the frame. I'm just there so used go. to being pushed Where did out. Oh. Well, I'm used I to know. taking one It's like one we've never done a team. show before. We're putting it's Kate like through we've a lot been of shit right now. By the way, Mike Sorry. Trash and I go way back, like 20 years. Kate's been trying to tell me that That's for 10 I... minutes. She's so pissed. <laughs> Oh, because could we, could we... She was looking you, at me with flashing? dead eye. Were you flashing? And I was like, I don't know what you're saying. I'm going to oh, pretend okay. you're not all there. Right. All right. <laughs> Sorry. You, you have underwear on this time, though, right? I don't know anymore. <laughs> Listen to this. Once, you remember this? Mike, of course, Mike remembers it. Remember the time your band left you in Boston? Yeah. Oh, no. You guys? Oh, guys, guys. Wasn't guys. Guys. these guys. I'm sure he wrote, he's got a, he's got a contract now that you okay. can't. Okay. Did you deserve it? No, I, I was... I just disappeared for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and they thought I left. What but were you doing? It doesn't matter. This. <laughs> you just don't leave. <laughs> Next thing I call, where are you guys? Oh, we're halfway back to Albany. We thought you left us. Listen, before the show, this guy had so much liquid Band-Aid in his area that it was concerning. Was that what, Is that what you were doing? Yeah. Liquid bandaging? Yes. You have it all over your hands, Wait, what dude. Are you talk what are you talking about? I was like, what's in your bag of tricks, dude? That's weird. So I had to put them on, you know, before I... He has very cut up hands. It's alarming. Okay, well, it's, that's rock and roll. That's the way it works. Yeah, it's cool. That's what new skin's for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, my stuff's called new skin. 
funny. <laughs> so I have new skin for a few hours. Anyway. So do you remember what you were doing in these 15 minutes? Was it yeah, worth it? Go ahead. Bring us back. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Better protect the innocent. And then how did you How did you get home when they left you in Albany? Uh, they left you for Albany. I took a train back. Damn. <laughs> That's rough, dude. I remember that. And it was it was a big. Been with me. <laughs> oh no! Even worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We had my merch bin and going in the train and I'm next thing you know someone picked me up. You know when I was back in Albany and, and I realized I left one of my guitars back there. Dude, yeah. did you fire all those people after yeah. this? Yeah, exactly. They eventually fell by the wayside on their own. So. Okay. <laughs> it was. <laughs> It was just uh, one of the many. Another infamous Mike Trash story was the time you almost drowned drinking tequila in a swimming pool. Yeah. I think that's a good cautionary tale. Let's uh, let's talk about that one for a minute. Yeah, could have, and it wasn't even because of the swimming pool water. It was because of the tequila. <laughs> 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 Johnny was there. He was yeah, there, yeah so I was there for that one. We're yeah, all, yeah, go we're ahead. On, we're in L.A. We're at the Days Inn, and <laughs> we're just acting <laughs> totally retarded, and we're barking like seals, <laughs> and. The person kept pouring <laughs> shots instead of, you know, every time we bark like a seal. And the f I too much went way down my throat. Wait, what's the barking like a seal? We're that's just what they were doing. We're to barking get like seals to get tequila. <laughs> okay, up. are we all going to pretend that's normal? Well, they were they were Could you give us a seal bark? Uh, yeah, go ahead. We're going R, R, R. Actually, no, too much tequila went down my throat. And I started choking and I'm waving for help and every, no one's really getting it. Then they finally yeah. get it. We're like, oh shit, he's about to die. <laughs> the next thing you know, it all regurgitated up. And I, you were drowning in tequila. Yeah, it, wasn't yeah. the, it wasn't even in the water. You were waterboarding yourself with tequila. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jesus. And once I was fine, we kept drinking. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing you can do after an ordeal like that. What a, wow. What a, what LA to, will really fuck you up, huh? What a way to go that would have been. Yeah, yeah it was different, yeah. <laughs> You guys just came back from England. You were touring in England. Yeah, we just got back uh, the end of May. God, what, are, did, what did they think of you there? They're big stars over there, <laughs> right? They like, us, they like us better there than here. Really? <laughs> do Why do you them? think that is? I just think they like the style of music better there. Appreciate music yeah, in general. Appreciate live, original music. Yeah. What happens when you when you tour in England? Who who does the driving? No. Can't be you. No. Yeah. <laughs> My tour manager, Craig, usually does all the driving. Not only that, but th it's on the, they it's drive the on the wrong, wrong side. side of the road. And the steering wheel's on the wrong side yeah. of the car. God. Even as a passenger, I always think he's going to crash. Because yeah, it I mean, it like doesn't even. You let driving right, but he actually is, but it just looks weird. And even after all this time. It's so, it's so defiant. Everybody knows that the steering wheel should be on the left side. We've been going over there for 15 years now, and like, every time it still freaks me out. Yeah, <laughs> it's awful. Every left turn is a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, let's talk about if we can. Uh, my quickly, let's talk about weird gigs. Well, every band's had some weird gigs. Yeah, the Erotics has have had some weird gigs. What's the weirdest one you can think of? By the way, you played once played a, a shopping mall during Black Friday, right? Yeah. That's pretty weird. Yeah, it was that. There's a. <laughs> hey, it's busy. There's good. That's true. Sure so there's weird. There's definitely a lot Is of people there. Is that a good get? There's a venue. There was actually a nice live venue inside the mall, so it's not like we played in the middle of the mall. I was kind of hoping you were like in the middle of a Kmart <laughs> or something. Or something. Yeah, no, it wasn't like that. So. <laughs> Which mall was it? Crossgate Mall in Albany. Oh fuck, that's great. Classic. <laughs> yeah. Crossgate, yeah. Did you see anything, anything else wild? We yeah, go ahead. Uh, let's let's hear about the weirdest gigs the erotics have placed. Yeah. You got a few probably, John. I don't know, man. <laughs> Played a go kart on there once. What? <laughs> that was in the nineties, so that was probably that was pretty bizarre. <laughs> you were uh you were almost in Velvet Revolver, remember that? Well, I think there were. That was back when VH1 was trying to, you know, find their guy. Yeah. They weren't called Velvet Revolver yet. But it was almost you. That was one of the people they were considering, yeah. That was like 2003. That was a while ago. This guy is so matter of fact. I yes. love it. It's just like everything he says is super weird and he says it like he has no idea. Yeah. It's awesome. It. He just mentioned it, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was. It's great. It was definitely, yeah. I mean, everybody remembers. Do you remember Velvet Revolver? Of or course, buddy. Okay. okay. Post Guns N' Roses. I'm now? not that out of tune, buddy. <laughs> okay. I know it's I hard to believe. I wanted me to videotape myself singing in broad daylight with no music just to prove it was really me on the CD that they heard. Wow. <laughs> By the way, that reminds me, yeah. if we can. Due diligence. If we can, let us, let's transition to the fact that the Erotics have a new record. And it's right over there. Will you grab it for me, buddy? It's called, here we go. What's the soda? And he's also got soda. They've also got their own soda. 
Let's what? talk about oh. the let's talk about the soda first, my trash. Okay. Uh, the company is called My Jones, uh, based out of uh, I think they're in Washington State. How did you get the soda though? Yeah, can we please understand the soda? Yeah, let's tell me how the erotic soda came to be. I'm reminding you again, this is not normal. <laughs> it's not normal that we have our own soda. <laughs> no, nobody else on the show has ever had their own soda. Yeah, I don't have my own sodas. <laughs> how did you get them? I, I, what, did somebody call you up and say, we want you to be a soda? I contacted them. Oh, you did? Yeah. Because you thought... I thought you want to put our, rec our uh, album cover on your, your song. Yeah. <laughs> and they said, yeah, okay, cool, let's do that. Yeah. Wow, that's where your mind went for all your, your branding and marketing? Yeah. Wow, is it working? Yeah, is it working? Where are they f flying off the shelves? I don't know, but we just, I just hand them out for promotional items. You know. Can we drink one? Yeah. yeah it's, it really tastes Do you like ginger beer? Sure, I love ginger beer, but let's go ahead to grab it. Yeah. Let me have a swig of that, and then we'll show them. Here we go. Can we get this? Yeah. Do I have to stand up? No, I'll just. There we go. It's called "The Songs Remain Deranged," and you name this after a, your, a visit to a castle. Wow. Yes. Okay. Let's talk about that. Hey, you were at the castle. We were in uh, the UK of September of last year. Wales. 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 Yeah, it was a Wales castle. And the day yeah. off, we decided to go to this castle. Then the townspeople told us that's where Zeppelin filmed part of the scenes. The song remains the same. So uh, the rain song. You know the rain song part sure. of the yeah. castle. That's actually that castle we saw. And of course, I always twist words around and came up with the. It was a, you know, a play on that. It's not beer, buddy. It's just ginger. It's ginger. <laughs> and that's the other thing I want to point out. It's just ginger. Don't worry. No, no. Right. Because if you remember, we got suspended a few weeks ago for having alcohol in the studio. And this is not alcohol. It's oh, ginger. no. It just says, everybody, please talk into the mic. Oh, your wife just came in here and yelled at us. This is bad. <laughs> all right. Uh, it's it's actually, it's not it's not alcohol at all. It's, it's ginger it's beer. It's ginger beer. And it's, and it's delicious. Where can we get it? <laughs> uh, whoever, whoever my Jones soda is sold, uh, it's all different places. They just randomly, you know, stock them in stores with, with different labels, and some I don't know where which ones they're in. Can you get it from our website, Mike? Yeah, go ahead. Can we get it from our website? Yeah, do we have it up there? You no, we don't have it on our website. In but I, we probably should put it on our website though. We do sell them at the live gigs. We'll put it on the website. So. We will put it on the website. But we, can't, we, we can't ship them overseas, though. You're not supposed to ship liquids. But, mm. but US, <laughs> U.S. orders only. But believe me, there is some place on this planet where you can go and buy an erotic soda. You could be at a random Starbucks in yeah. Iowa or something, and it might be sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> nice. <laughs> because we're drinking one right now, so we know that they exist. There they are, everybody. It's the erotics. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, you guys, go back to your uh, to your stage, and we'll we'll see a little bit more. We'll hear a little bit more from the erotics in just a bit. Buddy, I saw you freak out a little that that was maybe. No, like, I knew it was. Beer. I knew it was soda. I knew it was soda. It's and pretty it's, good. It's delicious. You just like don't to want try? to get in trouble again. Yeah, I just don't want to be in trouble again. Go ahead, uh, Elsa. Have a little. Have a little sip. What do you think of that? That's yeah, ginger beer. It's good. It, it yeah. sure is. Hey everybody. Yeah. <laughs> hey everybody. We're gonna we're gonna change gears a little bit. Uh, we have some uh, uh, How about some burlesque? Please. Hey, yes. are you guys ready for the return, yes. the triumphant return? Performing with yes. the Black Lady Lagoon. Here she is, everybody. It's G. G. Marks. <laughs>
Sharks, everybody. <laughs> Incredible. We'll let uh, Gigi cover up a little bit. Oh. And then and then have her come join I'm us on the couch. I don't know if I could do this. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it, buddy. You've done this I'm, like, I'm starstruck. Yes. I know. We talked before the show, but now I'm just like really obsessed with you again. Aww. Hey, Gigi, welcome back to the show. Hi. It's great to be back. First can all, I sit up here? No. Yeah, you can sit, sit up there. I have plenty of space. I, okay, I can know. take up I more know. space. So, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also need more space. Oh, yeah. I also need more space. Very <laughs> much. Gigi, how are you? I I am great. I'm super happy to be here. It's been like three it's been years. No way. It's, been, it's been two years. We thought that two? you okay. didn't like us anymore. No, I just live in Canada. Oh. She does. She lives We're in Canada polite. now. We like everyone. Except yeah. I grew up here, so I'm still a bitch. I got a feeling that you don't like everybody. No, I don't. <laughs> I got a feeling that's why I really like you. When you uh, when you come back to town, do you ever feel uh, nostalgic for living here? Or do you ever like... <laughs> you nostalgic for Boston, Gigi? Yeah, are you nostalgic for Boston? I no? mean, when I fuck my ex, yeah. But uh, uh, <laughs> other God. than that... Gigi's the... Cr- <laughs> oh, she's the best. That was, a, that, was a, that was a saucy answer for sure. Yeah. <laughs> by I the way, do it. I can't by the way, it. Uh, Gigi just celebrated her birthday. Did you know that? Wow! No, she, I didn't. My did? birthday's in April. <laughs> April I mean, it's kind of recent. Okay. Ju- we haven't That's, seen you in years, okay, buddy. Okay, relatively, relatively, I just celebrated it to when I have last seen these humans. I yes, feel like exactly. you're timeless. Well, she's she's not telling me she's 27, right? You're 27? Yes, yeah, she's 27. You've done so much. Is there anything you did yeah. at 26 that you won't do at 27? You think? Um. Mm, let me see. Yep. Many mistakes. Yep. You uh, one of them is working for the producer of the Montreal Burlesque Festival, Scarlett James, who's a racist asshole. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> calling out. Calling nice. out. <laughs> I don't think that kind of thing happened in Montreal. Oh, yeah, it does. She is not representative of the community. She lives within a bubble. And there's a lot of great burlesque that happens in Montreal that is not done by her. But some, let's talk about Montreal for a minute. Russell? Oh, yeah. No, Russell Brunner is a sexual predator who works in, Whoa. Who works in the burlesque community really and only works in Europe now. Oh, oh there's drama. We are, we are breaking <laughs> into... A very, very big can of worms. We really are. Okay. I, 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 Surprise. Let's try, to, let's, I mean, let's try to put the worms uh, back in the can. I want to surprise people who put, out. <laughs> who put sparkles <laughs> on their tits and get naked in front of people have drama i mean surprise yeah it's surprise. true but let's talk about montreal for a moment if we can yeah because stacy was choice. there uh I recently just went and there she and really Gigi enjoyed actually it. recommended some great places do you uh yeah. do, you, do you speak french now oui, je parle un peu français, mais <laughs> i speak russian better so i'll just put what? that <laughs> let me ask you this if you're at a cafe or something and you're hanging out and everybody's speaking french do you assume that they're speaking about you? That's what I would think was happening. Usually not. They're usually complaining about the weather. Because no matter how cold or hot it is or perfect it is in Montreal, we'll find a reason to complain. Nice. Because we have a negative 40 to plus, oh, what's that in Fahrenheit? Oh, yeah. Negative 40 is the same. Negative 40 to 100 degrees you're is what the weather was this year. You live in the Celsius life now. Yes, I do. <sighs> That's so that cool. Fine life. Celsius life. You, just, you, just can just, cool. you can just do the conversion right in your head? Uh, sometimes <laughs> it's five to nine and they meet up at negative 40 and 32 is zero. So, okay. Can you sell us on Montreal? I tried to okay. sell these people in Montreal. Montreal. I don't yeah, think it worked. Montreal. Uh, rent is really cheap. That's what I hear. Yeah. Going. Rent is cheap. There's a lot of artists. Um, I can afford to be a bullshit, sexy art stripper, like shitty art stripper and do that and work at like a dance school. That's what I do. I do this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we can I cannot do that in what America. About that hell? Do also, our prime minister is Jason Trudeau. Have you seen him it's holding handsome. pandas? Yes. <gasps> I've done I mean, more like, than he that. He has not the greatest politics, but he's still better than what you guys have here. Oh. Yeah, you're from here too. Yeah, exactly I'm what you guys too. have, she says. But now I get to vote in the elections there, so I can yeah. say that I participate in that democracy. Hey, uh, you're doing a lot of <laughs> you're doing a lot of incredible costuming these yeah. days. You're also doing. She does a lot. She um, up in there in Montreal. She does all kinds of characters. You know, just like here, there's a lot of gimmicky burlesque. And uh, let's let's go over some of the ones that you've done here. 
Um, yeah, how do you find a character? Yeah. Oh, does it involve like ways. smoking pot or what is it? What's, you, what, what doesn't? What doesn't? What? Okay, My good. Life. I'm glad. Because it gives me anxiety. Mm. Were you a sexy dinosaur at one point? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> is that a no, difficult actually, one? No, actually, no. I wasn't a sexy dinosaur. I was recently in a show that was Jurassic Park. Okay. Jurassic Parts. Okay, Jurassic Parts. And <laughs> I was not a dinosaur. Oh, you weren't? Okay. I was the mosquito trapped in amber. What? That is really... Yeah, you were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you little bug. <laughs> I had this, like, sexy, <laughs> kinky, <laughs> fishnet co mosquito costume and a huge mosquito nose. Oh my god! And a lot of like so intense hot for red that. makeup <laughs> and a face kini. <laughs> can I sit next to Gigi? Yeah, you can. You want to see? Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. You can. I don't want to creep you out. <laughs> no, I'm. Don't worry. I'm already creeped out by everyone here. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. I'm very creepy myself. Yeah, you are. Go ahead. You ask us some more questions. Sure. Yeah. Ask questions. <sighs> Okay, yeah, so it, it, <laughs> it begins with the po Let's hear some more characters because your oh. costuming is really incredible. Oh, Where thank you. Where did you learn how to put all these together? Um, so I have always liked sewing. I think everybody, Elsa, can agree that pretty much everyone who does burlesque makes most, if not all, of their costumes. Yes, we have to, without a necessity. Yeah, we don't make a lot of money doing this. <laughs> And rhinestones are very expensive. So if you have no sewing skills, are you not made no, for I, burlesque? I no, there's, I mean, there's, I you have a them best go along. friend who she glues rhinestones and then she pays people to make her basics or she modifies things herself. And she's like a really amazing burlesque performer. You do what you can do and then you pay your friends to do the rest. Okay. What do you do when you're not doing burlesque? That's what I really want to know. Um, He's always doing burlesque, buddy. And costuming. <laughs> Anything burlesque related. Yeah. So I'm, it's most of my life. I live with another performer who's a great performer. Their name is Tristan Ginger. And they're a babe and a sweetheart. And um, so our life is like showgirl all the time, everywhere. <laughs> Literally every surface is always covered with some project or some prop. I have like seven large paper mache heads from different characters I've made in my house. Um, so I go over to my partner's house because that's, that's where there is no glitter. And I can shower and there won't be like makeup splashed all over the walls. <sighs> Let me ask you a question. Uh, this, is, uh, this was a topic at one of your recent burlesque shows. Uh, mm -hmm. It was uh, P.T. Barnum and why P.T. Barnum is pure trash. I have a question about that because... Ooh. <laughs> okay. Because he invented air conditioning, you know. Okay, really? so... We wouldn't be cooling off without that guy. What? He didn't yeah. invent air conditioning as we know it. He didn't invent that. He did. He used swamp cooling air conditioning, evaporating exactly. air conditioning in his tents. He's a trash because he literally owned and sold people... And then when they died, he stuffed them and put them on display. And he manufactured people to be like of different races and his freaks and things like that. And a lot of our modern conception, like post-Civil War conception over disability and race was influenced by P.T. Barnum traveling through America when he had an actual circus in New York City in a permanent coliseum. He had what he called the Congress of Peoples. Hi, I'm Polenho. Um, I have opinions, very strong ones, about a lot of things. <laughs> that sounds like facts, though. Not yeah. Um, yeah, so, but actually this is in relation, that subject is going to be addressed at a show I have that I'm producing coming up. Don't, on do, don't, don't do your plugs yet. Oh. It's not plugs time yet. Uh, it's just, just that's going to be in a different show. Yeah, hold, hold That hasn't it. happened hold, yet. I, <laughs> I had one more, <laughs> I had one more question. I had more, one more question. Yes. Uh, so, is your bike more or less likely to get stolen in Montreal yeah. than in Boston? Yeah. Okay. Last time go. I saw you, we saw you were yes. fresh off a really bad... Right. Somebody sawed a tree in half to steal your bike. It's true. <sighs> I built cool. a bike. It wasn't worth a lot of money, but I loved it, and but it fit my it. body very well. Mm. Um, so, I've had a lot of bikes stolen in Montreal, but that's because I was young and didn't care. Um... And I didn't have very strong l locks. And now my bike lives inside of my house when it is not being physically ridden by me. Um, but when I was in Boston, I had two bikes stolen and they were locked very securely for short amounts of time. So. Yeah. 
So there's your answer. S- which one is more safe? I don't know. I had so many Occurrence bikes stolen in this town. Hmm. God, mine hasn't been stolen yet. I'm never going to own one again because they, they got stolen every single time. And I've had it. These dirty bike thieves. All right, there she is, everybody. It's the incredible Gigi Marks. Yeah! Yeah! Gigi, stay right here, and we will get to your uh, incredible shows coming up in just a minute. But first, a little bit more rock and roll before we go. One yes, more time, amen. everybody. There they are. It's the Erotic. <laughs> everybody well this has been fun but uh, it's that time of the show where we all get together and we do our plugs because after all everybody's here for a reason they want you to go to their shows buy their products buy their sodas if they're if they're selling sodas so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the erotics back here we got Gigi here we're gonna get to the uh, to the plugs and waiting for Stacy to get back from the bathroom Stacy we're on TV so you know you can, take your time if you can finish up in there that would be good I uh, mean you have to check your hair it's a very important yeah. As a femme, I know. There she, I here she comes. So here. here she comes, everybody. Stacy's come back. Here she comes. Here she comes. Here, here she is. Hey. Hot landing. There she is. <laughs> How you feeling, everybody? You're refreshed? Sorry. Don't I feel really relieved. Wow, was that some major mic burn on your ass? I mean, it's a leather couch, and I'm very <laughs> sweaty and wearing a thong, so... <laughs> You uh, do the like math. <laughs> before we get to the uh, plugs, let me tell you that next week we've got rock and roll from Twin Grizzly, everybody. Twin Grizzly. <laughs> yeah. uh, Worcester Roller Derby is going to be rolling back into the studio. Yes. Haven't seen them in a while. And uh, also, Kate, we're going to have Kate's Murder Minute, the debut of Kate's Murder Minute yeah. next next week. What is the Murder Minute? We're going to see how long we can take her talking about murder before we have to... <laughs> Send her, oh, send her back. Is it more or less than a minute, do you think? I don't oh, know. I would think it's more. Do you know how many I hope podcasts so. people have heard about murders, including uh, myself? I don't know. I don't know <laughs> how many details I can take. She's really gets me really into the 
into the weeds with this murder. She's a super creep. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> just like how we like them. <laughs> she's the creepiest. But uh, before, yeah, that's all next week. So let's uh, first of all let's talk. Let's talk to Gigi. Gigi is back in town, everybody. Yeah. She's back in town. I am. My sister's getting married. That's oh my why God. I'm here, because she's being an adult. Wow. Are you a bride, like a the best? Are you no, the I'm best not the best woman? anything. There's no best anything. There's You're just the, best the bride thing. people. Okay. You're the best That's sister, nice. for sure. I like that. I'm the best sister because I'm the only sister. <laughs> It would be really weird if you you had the title Maid of Honor. I don't think you would like that. Nah. Nah, 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 <laughs> nah, 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 Batman. <laughs> Go ahead. So what are you going to... Um, This Sunday, okay. I'm getting back with my old troupe, Rogue Burlesque. We're doing our 10-year anniversary show. Yeah. It's going to be super fun. It's at the Oberon on Sunday. You can still buy tickets. I'm going to be there drinking on the lower mezzanine. So I'm going to yes. be dancing on the bar nice. in maybe not these shoes. They're very tall. And uh, yeah. And then if you're in Montreal in August, I'm producing two shows. I perform pretty much two, two or three times a week at the Wiggle Room. Um, but my shows are Do Both, hashtag Do Both, which is a show that Elsa actually also produced here in Cambridge. Well, we're in Somerville, but I did it. the last one was at the Rockwell actually. So okay, in, in, the, in both, in yeah. all the Cambervilles. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's started by Honey Tree Evil Eye, who is this sexual intellectual, and it's basically you give a small TED talk for five minutes, and in the second half you take off your clothes. So Fantastic. that's when <laughs> someone's gonna explain Ugh. with even more detail and facts about how P. T. Barnum, Barnum was a POS. Trash. <laughs> We're also yeah. gonna talk about like <laughs> queers and ho as holy icons and stuff like that, fun stuff like that. And Th then I'm producing a show the very next day because yeah. I'm insane. Okay. Ooh. There you go, everybody. That's all the places to see Gigi Marks. <laughs> Let's move over to Elsa Riot. Find yes. out what's going on. Uh, the next Smoke and Shadows is on Saturday, August third. Smoke and Shadows is the burlesque and variety show that defies decade and genre, and uh, we will have burlesque from Ruby Sparkles in upstate New York. Um, and we will have, uh, let me think, Lady of Vengeance and Will White, who are a very interesting um, singer-songwriter duo. Um, and Lady is also an amazing um, latex artist and burlesque performer. Oh, so like lots of, hot. yes, yes. Um, comedy from Jay Smitty. And uh, I'll be there. Super dope. Saturday, August 3rd at the Rockwell in Davis Square. And you can find tickets at ElsaRiot.com. Yes. I'm in the country. I'll be there. Yes. By the way, Elsa, did you just perform... Once again, did you perform your Dead Kennedy song? Yeah, I did. At the last Smoke and Shadows? Yeah, for like people that actually paid money to go see it. Oh, so yeah, no, fuck sorry it. Sorry slash thanks. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, there was no soup pour that time. Elsa is on the cutting edge of punk burlesque. Yes, very important. <laughs> and you know who inspired that whole thing? It was Rui. It was Rui, the 15-year-old <laughs> intern. I can cry by the Dead Kennedys, and that's why yeah. I ended up on Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, you can't hear, but he just deadpan just went dead. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's find out what's happening with the erotics. By the way, this is exciting. When they tell you what's happening directly after this show, you're really going <laughs> to, this one. Okay. T tell them what's happening tonight. Mike trash tonight. Right after we leave here, we're playing in Salem at Encoto. I know. Right. Yeah, 1130. Yeah. So if anybody's out there from the area watching, come out. Tonight. Uh, Pink from uh, Demon's Alley is playing acoustic, and a Misfits uh, tribute band is also playing called 138. That's incredible. Yeah. Where else can we see the erotics? We're going to be in L L.A. and San Francisco at the end of the month. Two weeks from now, yeah. Yeah, two weeks from now. Where are you going to play? We're playing uh, up in a place called Winter's Tavern in Pacifica, which is outside of uh, San Francisco. Then we have two shows in uh, the L.A. area at the Whiskey and another place called the Universal Bar and Grill. Will you be drinking tequila in a pool when you're out there? Probably not. Okay, all right. That was a one-time deal. You can get their new record. The songs remain deranged, right? Yes, it's available at all the places where you can get, you know, the digital places, you know, iTunes. Digital places. places. <laughs> uh, Amazon, you can get it at our website, CD Baby. 
Bandcamp, but the you know the actual CD, physical CD. If people still buy those, yeah, yeah. that's fantastic. Uh, I think Gigi just said that iTunes doesn't exist anymore. Is nope. that true? Nope. As of two months ago. Yeah. <laughs> well, what the hell am I gonna do? Where? What happened to my iTunes Spotify. library? Spotify. It never existed in the first Spotify. place. Spotify. <laughs> it's on Spotify. It's everywhere. New album what if you? Here. Wait a minute. But if you what if you where's spent? All your, where's your library? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What if you bought all this music on iTunes? What happened to it? Files. You still have the local files. You just can't like download it onto another computer because you can't. Just, I don't. Because Apple is dumb. Apple is dumb. Proprietary have, formats are bullshit. I'm outraged. Yeah, I'm outraged. Every ten years they do this. This is what happens. I know. I I know. I bought <laughs> music on iTunes CD. before. Ridiculous. Anyway, they, I, it's incredible what this band, the Erotics, are doing. They play a TV show and then they go across town and they play a rock and roll show. That is really yeah. wild. Hey, let's go over here to this side of the room and find out what uh, these people are doing. Hey, the Gala, the Gala US. Stop by Deadbeat Records, pick up our fucking record. Bad news. You can check us out this weekend, Saturday, at Kodo in Salem. Ah! Also, Black Leather Lagoon. You can catch us July 31st with Poison Boys. Which will be here, and then we'll go across the street with the fighting fish. Ah! <laughs> All right, so yours truly, Sam the Storm, is going to be uh, in a runway and fine art photography uh, event tomorrow um, called The Taiga by our old friend uh, May Horak, who did these amazing um, outfits and, and photography, and it's like a fairy tale told through this thing anyway it's really cool and i'm gonna be a model walking down this runway it's free it's at out of the blue two gallery in austin it's at 7 30 uh you should come check it out johnny you got one what are you gonna be at this uh thing what's your outfit uh i'm gonna be wearing something called the drowning dress the drowning dress yeah nice. what is that tell me what that means Have you tried it on? i haven't i've heard it's really really long Maybe that's why you drown in Is the dress. Is this perchance based on like Russian fairy tales? The it might thing be. that I got a degree in. It might be. Uh, <laughs> it's over. All right, oh, am I wrapping. wrapping it up? Damn it. Oh, we were just getting in the middle of things. All right, well, it's the end of the show, everybody, and this is the part of the show where we dance. Thank you to the erotics. Thank you to GG Marks. And there they are, everybody. It's the Black Leather Lagoon.